Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, living in total luxury in a 16-foot travel trailer in the middle of nowhere, and it's cold out here this morning. It is exactly 25 here, here, here. 25, I'm getting tired of this, but the high today is supposed to be 65, and then we start to warm up a little bit, thank goodness. Hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. The time is 6.41 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 28 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 65 and a low of 42. Have a good one. You too. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. Why did the banker switch careers? She lost interest. They're not very strong, are they? They're not very strong. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? In Alamogordo, it's currently 38. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 15 degrees. Not too bad. You guys can live with that. Anyway, uh, what else is going on other than Elon Musk and SpaceX having a very successful flight and gloating in it, and I don't blame them a bit. <clears throat> that was very wonderful. I'm very proud of them. I, I'm still amazed at how not only engineers, but all these people can build a rocket and do what that one did. I'm amazed. I still, I don't even know how television works. I sure as hell don't know how my smartphone works, but I, it just does. But yeah, there's a lot of sharp guys in the world and girls too. So anyway, uh, this is Mark H. on the tra Lightweight Travel Trailers. He s says, no doubt this Clipper 16 Cadet 16 foot would be my choice too, except I would prefer a small tub option. I'm a firm believer in less is better. Have a great day, Rusty. Uh, actually, if you get the uh, the full dressed out model of the uh, Clipper Cadet, it comes with a little tub. <clears throat> Sherry Sprinkle on the trailers. Great comparison, Rusty. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate positive input, and everybody does. Uh, this is on the lightweight travel trailers. Cajun James says, what type of roof is on your Clipper Cadet? Rubber, it's a rubberized roof. The tub, did it come with a rubber ducky? No. Who made the tires for your Clipper? I have no clue. Size uh, 14 inch. What about your fan install? What about it? It's installed. I got it done locally. Can you purchase a Clipper Solar Ready? Uh, you can. The, the uh, the next, the next level up has the little plug outside. Uh, Hot Limited uh, on the lightweight travel trailer says, Excellent. Thank you. Did you expect anything less than excellent? Uh, oh, insert, insert. <clears throat> Two things. One, those of you that use the Amazon link, thank you very much. Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I leave a link to Amazon products in every video. If you click on the link, go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission. It does not cost you a dime. So if it's not too in inconvenient, and you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, why not? Also, I went to the dermatologist yesterday. Progress is being made, guys, on all this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I did the stuff she gave me yesterday, and looks good it's it's it I, I didn't have any itching or any of that stuff so anyway progress is being made in that arena linda casa says as it's on the lightweight trailer too says she says i am considering a scamp 19 foot deluxe fifth wheel however it looks like i can afford a used one no final decisions have to pay off my truck note first thank you for the great heads up yeah they, they make a good fifth wheel uh cajun or Cajun Jameis, uh, RVing, home base, very good, Rusty, you got me thinking, well, that's what I want to do, get everybody thinking, thinning, thinning, <laughs> Wendy McGee, me and Wendy McGee, uh, RVing, home base, I saw a guy who lived in a town drill a well in his backyard by hand on YouTube, I think it took him about two days, he camouflaged it with a bird bath or something so the neighbor wouldn't know, he didn't want to pay to water his lawn and garden and saved a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, really. 
he, the wrangler says sad you have to do that in the land of the free but you got to know folks when you live in the city your neighbors are watching everything you do everything every move you make we are curious uh, RVing home base Bob Hastings is always rusty very sound and practical stuff land will never get cheaper true there's just so much and the sooner you invest the sooner you can lock in your future that's very true I tell people that all the time the world can go to hell in a handbasket but you always have a place to have a roof over your head and some land to plant a few potatoes and raise a few chickens that's for sure guys that he's that's exactly right uh, this is on the lightweight trailers Robert Bingham just watched a video on camper you have nice thank you Robert I can't translate that Tom Seward RVing home base good video Rusty I love to figure out ways to live cheap me too I'm just I just doing this for fun could I live in an apartment no <laughs> I couldn't afford it well I could but I'd have to give up some things I don't want to give up any I mean I'm, I, I live good right here I like this it's fine uh, twin sparrow a drive a joke etc Larry the fellow who got crazy on a few beers drove a 57 Ford four-door car driving fast at night with the headlights off that Larry at 1135 is Larry still around I just had to ask as far as I know he is he'll probably live to be a hundred <clears throat> Uh, PJ Biker Full left some links. One, two, three, four. He left a link to uh, the Clipper Cadet. He left a link to Forest River RV something there. And he left a link to Casita Travel Trailers. And he left a link to Scamp Travel Trailers. So if you're interested in any of the RVs that I mentioned in the uh, lightweight travel trailer review, then PJ Biker full has left a link thank you very much PJ biker full Wrangler says afternoon rusty have you seen those alto te teardrops they are pricey but pretty neat they have motorized pop top uh, no I'm not interested in alto teardrops but I'm sure they're very cute he left a link to alto teardrops so check out Wrangler's comment and link uh, this is on the lightweight travel trailers by PJ Biker Full. Stand guard. He's got a link to something there. <clears throat> on the lightweight travel trailer. This is SRM on the lightweight travel trailers. Good video. Glad you got exactly what fits your needs and what that and and that you like. And for less than ten grand, it's a win-win deal. Cheers. Well, so far so good, guys. I'm liking it. We'll see. I mean, it, if it doesn't work, I'll just do something else. Brian Foltz on RVing Home Base. Rusty, I'm moving there as soon as possible. What are the land prices? Land prices everywhere depends on location. I do not know about the land prices anywhere around here at all because I have not looked in a long time. And there's nothing in, for sale in my area. But what I would suggest you do is find you an area that you might want to have a home base and start searching all right and that means you know you use Trillo or Zillow or whatever the hell it is and and start or start asking you'll start checking it out you know but you know you move in here you know there's there's I don't know of anything around here anymore there was a couple of lots for sale but they're sold uh, and there's nothing else with signs or anything but what you got to do you got to go to an area drive around find your place and then Go to the appraisal district and find out if that person might want to sell it. If it's not for, if they don't have a sign on it. Tiki Boy 2004 RV home base. Hey Rusty, you forgot how much you pay in fuel, gasoline for your pickup. Actually, the the I was responding to a viewer comment and they asked me how much it cost uh, to live at my home base. Uh, they didn't want to know all my living expenses because that will vary by the individual. Uh, you know what I pay for fuel gasoline and pickup uh, doesn't matter but I'll tell you it's about a hundred bucks a month uh, Wrangler RVing home base Wow 140 a month Rusty is that is that is very inexpensive living yeah it is yet you, you, you couldn't live under a bridge much cheaper you got me curious on what I pay each month 1330 for the house 90 for water 10 for gas electric 40 trash 20 nearly 1500 a month and uh, that does not include all the other things like phone internet etc you're doing amazing well you know I plan this if you plan something and execute it it's not luck it's just you know but anyway thank you Ranger good input I see you 812 RVing home base 
uh, how did the nickname Rusty come about? I don't know. I know that uh, when I was young, uh, one of my uncles uh, thought I was going to be redheaded and freckled, and uh, he gave me the nickname Rusty, and it stuck. I mean, I first name I remember being called was Rusty, among other things. It's not short for Russell. Uh, this is Raymond Juancito on the lightweight trailer says could can you could you do a review of Oliver fiberglass trailers beside to Casita uh, the fiber the Oliver fiberglass travel trailers I don't know anything about them first of all I just know they're expensive so I, they're out of my market you'll have to check on those on your own Raymond can't help you there but this is the same individual Raymond again are being home based as the home base is asked to the home base thank you for this video as I prepare to get on the road and get rid of my sticks and bricks I'm considering having a small home base for my RV could you expound upon this in more detail besides Central Texas what about other states you know you, those are things you have to check out on your own Raymond I don't know I'll be quite frank with you I don't know I mean I have looked at places in New Mexico and you know the the, the, the cheap land is in places that are very remote and uh, that's and it's the same way in Texas you know, you, you're gonna have to want to live in remote areas to get inexpensive land so <clears throat> yeah you'll just have to check Raymond I don't know every state's rules and, and prices this is on the home base Angela agreed with you Rusty I cannot see myself being a van dweller and some of the reported shenanigans reported that go on and the amount of daily driving and searching for toilets and showers I want a base I own and travel on my time and my, enjoy my country even Bob Wells has a home base with a pension and about ready to get Social Security. He's not crazy. No, Bob Wells is doing good. He's making six figures a year easy. Uh, Ernest Le Lucas, uh, you're living very cheap. You have it down to a science. Good for you. Well, thank you very much, Ernest. I, I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, this is Bill G1527 on comment call. Hey, Rusty. A thumbs down is the same as a thumbs up in YouTube analytics I learned. It shows interest in the video, which is good for the creators. Keep up the great work. You have a very unique channel that's tapped into its own little niche. Yeah, it has. It really has, and I and I'm glad because uh, I'm just it just all worked. I mean, it, it just worked. And <clears throat> it isn't great. Well, I'm not making much, but you know, it helps. It, and it's fun. It gives me something to do. I'm 72, retired. What else would I do? Okay. Uh, Paul Taylor, uh, having a home base is wonderful, Rusty. But the problems now is very hard to find a lots for cheap, and they're would allow you to see, yeah the whole thing is to find a place that you can afford where they'll let you have an RV that's that's a very true and that's hard to find <clears throat> RVing home base Aaron Hill how where to point solar panel how to find true south oh he's got a link to how to find true south okay thank you Aaron that could be very helpful Scotty's got three one two three four here on four different videos or three different videos uh, cool comment called Rusty. Did you did you had RV in the 60s? No, like, LOL, Rusty. No, I didn't, Scotty. I did not have an RV in the 60s. I didn't even know. I'd probably I'd seen some because we did have an RV park. Uh, Scotty, cool R cool 2018 lightweight travel trailers talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Cool RV living home base monthly expenses talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Enjoy your day, and you got a birthday coming up too. <clears throat> so happy birthday to you sooner or later uh, this is on the home base Will Hunt we are 325 a gallon regular wow 350 super for gas at Costco in California the land of taxes fees fines and water is more than gas <laughs> don't even ask about electric it's about two to three hundred a month in the summer property tax is 1.23 percent sale price of property with it raising one percent a year after that a million dollar house cost you twelve thousand a year in taxes before you make a payment uh, average San Diego house is now about five hundred fifty thousand do I sound angry lol I gotta tell you man uh, yeah they want to break California up into several states <clears throat> I'm not sure that's not a bad idea <clears throat> anyway cool RVing home oh, I already said that that's got it uh, this is Hamad Kuwait on the Dometic CF-18. I did a review of it. He says, nice review. Thank you, Hamad. I appreciate your input. 
and all of you guys' input, and especially using the link and all that stuff. We get comments and great stuff. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> it has been a little cool in Central Texas, and uh, uh, I ran out of propane this morning, believe it or not, and I have to. I don't. I can't just go out and switch tanks because I've only got one. But I had a spare. I got a spare. So what I had to do this morning when I got up first thing was to go outside and switch tanks and it's 25 degrees and to me that's cold. But I had one of those little headlamps, you know the little things with strap and light on up here. Those things are worth their weight in gold, I'm telling you, because your hands are free to do stuff and it was dark. The sun hadn't come up yet. But I've got my propane tank plugged in and I got propane and everything's nice because I got to take a shower because I have to shower twice a day now and I have to put on some stuff on my skin for two weeks and she says that look and I have to say this from the progress made in one day I think we're on to something here I think this is going to work however it wasn't cheap I had to buy two little products at the at Walmart pharmacy and it was a hundred and eleven dollars but but it's a cream one of them are cream or salve or something and the other one is a, some stuff for my my hair my hair my head the, the psoriasis stuff <clears throat> and it's just a it's a liquid you just put it in your hand and rub it on your hair and I don't know what it does but it does something because the itchy skitchy is stopped so anyway having I know y'all care about that don't you I mean that's really important isn't it but anyway guys from central hey Google <clears throat> hey Google tell us a joke one joke coming up how does our solar system keep its pants up with an asteroid belt whoa whoa yeah, who used to say that? George Carlin, he go, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he was a nut, boy. Anyway, having said that, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want to buy, but use the Amazon link in the description of my video because I get a small commission and it does not cost you one dime. So what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. Why? Because it's good for you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight if that's what you want to do. Then take deep breaths. Several times a day, breathe in deep, hold it, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that lowers your stress level, and that also lowers your blood pressure. Lowering your blood pressure does what? It makes your heart last a little longer. It's good for you guys. And what else? Stretch. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, walk. I'll do that later when it warms up. Thank you. <clears throat> and what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. What you let in are ingredients. But don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Okay? Really, just, just turn it off, man. Just turn it off. Say, look, I know how you feel, man. I felt the same way, but I tell you what. Did you see uh, Elon Musk launch a satellite or launch a missile or launch a rocket? Or, hey, man, who won Super Bowl? You know, just get them, turn them all the way around. Anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye.